Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. This is uh, New Year's Day musings. I did some musings on Christmas Day, and uh, hopefully it's a holiday for many of you, or maybe you're catching up on something. But uh, I just remember in my youth, today would be a day of no school and uh, watching football, maybe playing football outside with my brother and friends and things like that. So in the middle of football season and lived in the north for part of my early life and lived in the south for part of my early life. And so through it all, those were good years. Uh, later on, <laughs> when I started doing the books, it seemed like New Year's Day was a kickoff day for not football, but for getting the baseball price guide going, the annual price guide, which took several months. I mentioned I did a lot of stuff in advance. But coming down the home stretch, it uh, was a couple of months to really finalize the price guide, maybe 10 or 12 weeks to get it all done, ready for spring training. I wanted to have it come out when the baseball season. So that was the beginning of super serious focus time on baseball. And those were good days, but those are in my rearview mirror now. But thanks, Tops, Panini, Upper Deck, Heritage Auctions, Huxley Scott Auctions, Mike Stadium Sports Cards, Burbank Sports Cards, Compsy.com, and Beckett Media, Beckett Grading, Beckett Authentication. Okay, many people talk about resolutions on New Year's Day. I'm not really a big resolution guy as much as I, I try try to go in the right direction. I want to be healthy. A lot of people want to lose weight. Well, I've been about the same weight almost exactly for 45 years. So I don't think that's one of my issues. So I don't want to gain, but I don't really want to lose either. I'm just going to stay the same. I'd like to be uh, more flexible, stronger. And so I, I work out and I encourage you to do that. And not just for the month of January, but to the drop off in the gym is February 1st. A lot of the people do not renew their gym membership. I'm making progress. Uh, I've told you about my resolution to sell 1% of cards a month, try to decrease my load. I've got a lot of boxes of cards here. The 1% is totally working on my ComC account. I really am selling about 1% a month of the cards I have on ComC. So that's an encouragement. On the other hand, I keep sending more stuff there. But again, it's being sold off at about 1% a month. And I like that. So thank you, ComC. The other stuff, not the stuff that goes to ComC. I, this 2022 will be the year I'm going to really make progress on that. I just haven't had the will to jump in on eBay and get more aggressive. I've realized that if I'm going to pay somebody, still would love to get some help because the listing and the shipping is not a lot of fun. But you know, if I'm going to put stuff on eBay, if somebody's going to put it on for me and they're going to take a third or a half, and, and then there's all this back and forth. It, it may be better for me to just chop the price a third off or half off, and then I can sell it more quickly and more seamlessly without frustration and provide somebody a good deal that they can get some cards that I no longer want. Box them up and send them out. I just can't sell cards one at a time through the mail. I can do that through Comp C, but I've got to sell in greater bulk, and I'm willing to discount. Resolutions for, with respect to the podcast, I'm, I'm well on my way toward a 1,000 episodes, and I'm not saying I'm going to stop there, but I, that's my initial goal. I'm two-thirds of the way there. I don't go to local card shops that much. I pop in very occasionally. I do hit some shows around here, and that's been fun. In fact, it's wound up being almost once a month. It kind of averages once a month I'm going to a show. I am going to go to the Mint Collective. I probably will be going to the Industry Summit. I'll definitely be going to the National. I'll be going to all the Dallas shows where I'm available. I want to get Toronto in on that, but I don't know that I will be able to uh, do that. I think traveling is still maybe a little dicey in the uh, year of 2022, but Kyle Robertson's doing a great job on the shows here, so a lot of uh, national deals are coming here, so that's been great. I do want to have, for 2022, at least to begin, a sponsor tour. I've promised Rob Varis at Burbank First Dibs that I'm going to get out to Burbank and see his new uh, LCS, but hopefully I'm going to begin that as traveling is loosening up that I'm going to be able to make a visit to each of my sponsors. Beckett Media, not difficult. Panini, not difficult, but some of the others are, are out of town. So looking forward to that. And Mike, uh, Stadium Sports Cards in Aurora, a year on my list too. I'm also going to do some more mortality stuff in 2022. Every year I get a little older. My parents get older, but they're still hanging in there. So that proves I've got good genes. They're, they're up to 96 and a half each and slowing down, but to bless them, they're very perseverant, and I plan to be as well. On the other hand, it's good to be prepared. They're uh, well prepared, but not looking, f well, <laughs> it's, it's a bittersweet as your body is, is giving out. You really want to have a long, productive life, but when your body's breaking down somewhat, then it's, it's just difficult. So I want to be there for my parents, and I want, hopefully, to take care of things so people are not burdened when I have uh, some level of decline. One of the ideas I had on that is just to make a list of sports card executor. I've done, and it's a rough list. I haven't narrowed it down that much, but I've got some people 
people that I really think I would trust that would do a good job. But I'm realizing I need to do more than that. So I've had another idea that I'll bat around in a future episode. That uh, it, Say I've got 100 shoeboxes here, and I, I actually have more than that. But let's just take 100 shoeboxes, and they have stuff in them. They have cards in them, and they're pretty well organized. There may be a shoebox of Dallas Cowboy stuff, but there's another one maybe not as full of Washington uh, football team or Denver Broncos. It could be anything. So there's little boxes here and there of things like that, and maybe what I need to do is indicate not so much what is in it. When you open the box, you can see what's in it. But I think if I were to go through the box myself and say, <clears throat> this box should be kept separate and should be auctioned, what would be the way to get rid of it? That It would go to this auction house or put it on eBay. If it's fixed price, here's the price I would want, to, not to be less than this, a kind of a good wholesale deal, but to slog through some of the boxes. If I do that, I, I'm going to see, as I go through some of these boxes and do that stuff, I'm going to say, hey, you know what? This box didn't do me any good. I just put it up on eBay right now or some other means, take it to a show, figure out a way to get it in the hands of somebody that would appreciate it. So again, it makes work for me, but they're my cards and it's something I would probably get some enjoyment from. Lastly, on my musings is that 2022 will be the year I'm going to do some videos. I've already got some that are prepped and I will release them. And I just want to warn you that I'm of the opinion that a bad video is better than no video. There are, are three things I've wanted to do in the videos, whether it's poor quality or stupendous quality. I'm trying to communicate three things here. One was the sorting. You know, I did some episodes about my sorting techniques and it's not a huge deal, but it's hard to express that in audio form. And so just to have a you know, showing over the shoulder look of me sorting some cards. Those are, again, I'm keeping it very short. I do know that shorter videos are better than long videos. So I don't have any desire to make a long video. And so sorting is number one. Number two is my wall of fame. I've had a lot of questions for that. People have suggested things, but it, you just need to see the videos I'm going to put out there. It's hard when I've got a thousand cards on the wall. I just can't pan it. I've, I've got to get close up. And to do that, I'm just not going to do a video that's super long. So I've done it bite-sized chunks. And if you want to give me some feedback, whether that's the chunks are too small or too big, I'm happy to do that. And thirdly, there's a whole nother category of videos. If I start enjoying it, if I get good feedback, if people are sharing them and I can post them to YouTube and Instagram and my pod page website, if I do that, then there's a whole bunch of other boxes that I can open up and I could do some videos up. But I'd really like to get feedback from people. That there's people that do uh, vintage a lot. Now, I have a lot of vintage, but it might be that it'd be better for me to do oddball stuff that I just have never seen on other videos and do that. And just, again, it's free. So you can watch it uh, if you want to. Again, these videos are going to be the opposite of the podcast. The podcast is listen only. You can keep it in the background. Whereas the things I'm going to put into the video are mainly about watching. If you're just listening to it, I, I don't think you'll get as much out of it. So I'm going to keep it uh, short and sweet. And uh, I'm trying to do it mainly myself. I find that I have less pressure uh, if I just do it. I don't have to worry about somebody else editing it. So if I can just get a technique, then less friction for me to do more of them. Because uh, by my count, I would have to do about 100 different small videos to cover my wall. If I do like 10 cards at a time, it's probably broken down like that. So that'd be 100. And then I've got, like I said, 100 boxes where if somebody would like for me to break out a box of... Denver Broncos miscellaneous stuff or Atlanta Braves uh, miscellaneous stuff and just talk through them. Happy to do that. And that 2022 might be the year for that. I'm still enjoying myself. I hope you are. Again, I've said this is the greatest hobby in the world. That's not just what I think is true, but it's it's also aspirational. I, I want it to be, and I want you to experience the joy that I've experienced. So I'm hoping 2022 is a great year for you. I'm already declaring some things that I'm going to be doing, and I guess you could try to hold me to it, but I'm a free agent now, so I have no bosses and I have no employees. So I just do things that are fun for me. I hope they're fun for you too. So thanks everybody. 2021, we made it through and I hope 2022 is a fabulous year for all of us, including the hobby. So thanks and be safe and be well.